Hello everyone and welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for all earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the next seven days. This is a timeless reading so it is intended for whenever you are watching. Earth signs, thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. We are getting started here with the Wisdom of Tao. These are Oracle cards. And I'll draw a couple from here to get us started with your reading. All of these decks have been pre-shuffled earth signs, just so you know, I have already prayed and meditated on this space. Oh my gosh, you got the God of Wealth. Let me zoom in a little bit. The God of Wealth, awesome. Okay, as always, I'm going to read more into these Oracle cards after the tarot part. And Strength, beautiful. These are really awesome cards. All right, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Rider Tarot deck, and then I will go in and clarify with the Gilded Tarot Royale. Okay, so your first card out is going to be your situation this week, or the most important situation. Second card will be challenges. Third card will be advice. And fourth card will be outcome. What do the earth signs need to know the most this week? Earth signs, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all messages will resonate. Take what does and leave what doesn't, okay? And please do comment below how this resonates. All right, so your first card out, we've got the star, beautiful beginning. I love it, Earth, uh, yeah, earth signs. Earth signs, challenges, the two of swords, advice, the Eight of Swords, Fire Signs just got this. Maybe that's why I fumbled on my words a second ago. The Eight of Swords would be advice, and your outcome is the Five of Pentacles. So you're coming out of this energy of lack and worry, okay? I like that card in that position. All right, Earth Sign. So let's clarify here with the Gilded Tarot Royale. That deck was just the, this is the Rider Tarot deck. This is the Gilded Tarot Royale. And just so you know, all decks are listed below in the description box. All right, Earth Signs. We're clarifying the Star, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. As far as the Star goes, there could be an Aquarius in your life or in your chart, but there doesn't have to be. Clarifying the star, we have another major arcana, the Hermit, which is the energy of Virgo. Okay, so we have Virgo here with us. Strong Virgo energy, strong Earth energy. All right. I'm going to clarify the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. All right. What do we have for the earth signs? Oh my gosh, another two. Clarifying the two of swords, we have the two of cups. So maybe some of you are making an important decision in love, okay? And clarifying the eight of swords, we have the six of pentacles. And clarifying the five of pentacles, we have the Six of Swords. So I rest my case already. Um, moving away from financial struggles, moving out of that um, lack consciousness and that lack um, energy. Okay, so let's go here to your current energies, your current situation this week that's most important. We have the Hermit clarifying the star. So the star energy is gaining recognition in some way or another for hard work, something that you have achieved. The hermit is looking inside. Um, he is very wise. He's climbed this mountain and he's looking back over all of his trials and tribulations and experiences and reflecting, okay? And the star is more an outward reflection. Um, other people are noticing you, earth signs. They're noticing your accomplishments and your beauty, okay? I'm getting beauty too, okay? So you're receiving recognition. Um, with the hermit, um, I think that there is some very um, practical energy coming in this week. But with the star, I'm also getting um, creative and quirky, like in a fun way. like. Just run off and have fun if you have kids or grandkids and there's an amusement park 
or a playground or something like that. Um, like just drop everything and go do it. Swing on the slings, um, just be goofy. Just drop everything and be goofy. Don't be too serious. But the hermit is also showing introspection and wisdom. So it's a balance of these things, okay? That's important to embrace this week. Okay, Aquarius and Virgo I'm getting there, okay? So for your challenges, we've got the Two of Swords and clarifying that as the Two of Cups, okay? So there's a pairing, a partnership. There could be an important decision in a romantic relationship. Maybe there have been two people. Maybe you've been afraid to decide um, you know, who you want to be with, who you want to commit to. But I see a loving commitment coming in here. With the Two of Swords, you don't want to wait too, too long, okay? Like it's important to not make rash decisions, but at, this, it's the, at the same time, it is important to not sit there and hide out of fear of making the wrong choice, okay? It's important to take the blindfold uh, off, get up, look at there's just like little um, rocks in the water there you could easily climb over to get to where you need to go. It's not as bad as you seem, okay? It's not dreary, it's not heartbreaking, it doesn't have to be. And if there's something unpleasant, it's not as bad as you are thinking. And there's uh, beautiful, love coming in and i'm noticing noticing the moons in both of the cards here okay so there's like a crescent moon in the two of swords and the full moon in the two of cups so there's something about a cycle okay maybe you've been going through a cycle with someone and it's time to come back together it's time to reconnect uh, i'm not saying necessarily someone from your past for some of you it's someone who you are already with and it's time to rekindle your um your love between the two of you okay it's time to reconnect with why you wanted to be together and um you know tie this cycle back up to where it should be there's love and joy wanting to come in for you and in the challenge position it's about um making that decision to look to just take a look at what's going on around you, what's going on with the other person, what's going on and with your relationship. If this has to do with work, um, it could have to do with, I think for some of you, with wanting to bring um, a partner into your business or hiring someone to help you with your business and having a hard time. And there is a good match for you, okay? If you need assistance in your business in one way or another, whether it's your actual work or if it's, um, needing financial advice or something like that, there is a good match for you. So seek that um, assistance and there will be a good match, someone who can help you. Okay, and advice again, right next to the Two of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords. So um, it's up to you if this is self-imposed restriction, Earth signs. So this is a good card to me because it means you have the power, you have control. You have the control on the situation. The restrictions that you are feeling, like in the finance department, Okay, the restrictions that you are feeling are self-imposed. They're not as bad as you're thinking and there is assistance for you. It's just important to take that blindfold off and ask for help, ask for guidance, and also call on your guides and angels as well, okay? We've got the Six of Pentacles clarifying the Eight of Swords. So in taking off of the taking off those blindfolds, okay, and stepping out of this little like self-imposed prison with these swords here and out of the mud and doing that, there's gonna be reciprocity, okay? Someone who hasn't been doing their part will, or if you haven't been doing your part, it'll be easier for you to do so when you stop feeling like you're stuck because you actually are not stuck. You have the power to get yourself unstuck. The Six of Pentacles is about balance and give and take, having enough to share with others. So um, Earth Signs, I think a lot of you are really experiencing that poverty consciousness and it's not as bad as it seems, okay? Um, I think for some of you, there's another job out there for you or another option another option for you. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. Of course, these readings are for entertainment purposes only, only and always and always reach out to professionals if you need that type of advice. Um, that said, what I'm saying here is I think maybe some of you have some stocks. 
um, that you could cash out on to give you a little bit of a buffer while you are bringing your business together or while you are in between jobs or something like that. But I am getting reciprocity here, okay? I'm getting equality and reciprocity. So all the efforts that you have been putting out there will come back to you. You're not going to be destitute and poor if you don't want to be, okay? And that's more in your conscious mind. It's not actually literal. Like you have more than you realize. So write down those things. Write down what you do have. Write down, you know, what you appreciate having, okay? I don't like to say grateful or gratitude too much because they become such buzzwords. So write down like what you appreciate having, what you're glad God has brought to you, you're glad that your guys and angels have brought to you, okay? Like maybe use the word appreciation or I'm happy that um, I'm happy that I have time between one job and the other job to take care of my house and my pets or something like that. And see here, we've got the Six of Swords as passage away from difficulties. This is a passage away from financial difficulty, passage away from illness or worry or mental strain. Okay, the rocky waters are behind you and there's something better up ahead. Okay, you're being guided and the moonlight is starting to shine through these clouds. The clouds are breaking up. Clarity is coming in and the healing is coming in. The direction is coming in. So follow your map, follow your own guidance. Okay, and um, earth signs, it's really important to know that the difficulties are behind you and leave them there. It's your choice. It's you, your empower. It's up to you to leave that behind you. All right, earth signs. That seemed a little heavy for a while there, but like, look at all this love coming in here. I'm gonna go back here. Like, look at the joy with the star card. Like, look at all that joy and happiness and recognition for your accomplishments. And look at the love in the Two of Cups, okay? So whether it's a romantic connection or someone coming in who can help you, okay? I mean, that's a really beautiful thing. There are good things for you this week, okay? And with the Six of Pentacles there, balance is being created, okay? in one way or another, it can be with money, it can be with relationships, but there's reciprocity, okay? What you have put out there is coming back to you in a different form, in a different way, and I feel like it's coming back to you tenfold. Okay, I think a lot of you have been sitting in this like um, feeling of lack for a really long time, and um, it's time to like get on that boat and float away from it. It's not meant for you anymore. All right, we're going over to the Angel Wisdom Tarot now for the Earth Signs. And Earth Signs, with that Hermit energy, I think a lot of you really have this deep wisdom. Like, you know that you're not meant to be struggling anymore, okay? You know this. So embrace that. Embrace that and move forward. Okay, what does the Angel Wisdom Tarot need to tell? The Earth Signs. Okay, so we've got the Page of Earth, which is which is the Page of Pentacles. It's a scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, and a new area of study. Oh my gosh, Earth sign. Sorry about the noise from the landscapers. I think that was the lawnmower, and my cats are fighting behind me right now. <laughs> so, hey, hold on. No, Bobo, no, no. Oh my gosh, all right. I think Maisie and Bo, my cats, would like to tell you that it is time to be cheerful and that someone dependable is coming in for you. For some of you, um, maybe it's time to go back to school or learn something new and that will bring you financial stability as well. Take this time to learn something new. What can enhance what you are already doing? We've got happy news about your career, okay? Happy news about money, scholarships, promotions. I like that. Okay, there are good things wanting to come in for you this week, Earth Signs. Okay, another sign, I'm sorry, another element got this as well. I can't remember who, the Seven of Swords, okay? A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets. Okay, Earth Signs. So it's time to face here that um, trying to hide the things that you are afraid of is not going to do you any good, okay? It's going to leave you isolated. That's what I'm getting for most of you listening right now, okay? I'm not really getting anything, um, uh, what's the word, um, you know, sneaky really, although that, that can be part of the meaning for this card. 
but I think that like you're the one that doesn't want to reach out earth signs I think that many of you um, can be helped there is help for you but you're being stubborn or you're feeling embarrassed or whatever and you kind of want to tiptoe past it like hightail it out of there and um, in, and not ask for help and what's coming to mind right now is something I always taught my daughter when she was little it's that it's the brave kids in class who raise their hands and ask a question when they don't know the answer okay so that goes for adults too recognize that it takes bravery to make that phone call to ask for advice professional advice or talk to a friend okay it takes bravery but you're going to be seen as confident okay you're not going to be seen the way you're feeling or the way you're thinking like you're like weak or embarrassed or something like that you're going to be seen like the star like how brave like this person is smart what good questions they have you know and someone's going to be able to help you you're going to be recognized for that. You're going to be praised for that. It's going to be the opposite of how you feel, okay? Um, it's going to be the opposite of feeling ashamed and embarrassed. You're going to have a reason to be proud. Someone's going to tell you, oh my gosh, that was a really great question. Or that was really smart of you to notice such and such. You know, you just saved yourself from all of this difficulty or all of these problems. All right, earth signs. We're going to go over here to the tea leaf deck and get some messages from here for you. Actually, this deck is way easier to shuffle in halves because there are 200 cards. So I'm gonna do it this way. Let's see what we get for the earth signs. What do the earth signs need to know the most this week? The tea leaf fortune deck. Okay, let's see what we have. Earth signs, we've got the casket. Okay, this doesn't mean death, okay? It doesn't mean physical death. This is all symbolism. It says someone going out of your life or the end of a situation, okay? The end of this. The end of lack, okay? The end of lack, the end of feeling alone. The end of feeling like you don't have help, okay? That's the end. Bury it. That's the end of it. Face it. Bury it. Move on, okay? Let it be the end. Okay, so that's that, that's the casket. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. We've got the tent, okay, this is a temporary situation. Thank you very much. Okay, it's not forever. And we've got the angel, spiritual guidance and protection from harm, okay? Know that you're protected, call on your angels. All right, let's get the next row of cards here. Very nice for earth signs. Earth signs. What do we have? Let me just straighten these out a little bit. All right. Looks like we have a month here. All right, we've got January. So something's coming up in January. I think that's in the future. And we've got the bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And I get the opposite as well. Be careful not to be too stubborn in grieving or focusing on the past, okay? Earth signs, something in January. I think that um, things are gonna start to improve now, but you're gonna see something significantly change come January. You're gonna start, see, start, you're gonna start to see smaller changes between now and then, but um, you're gonna see a real huge transition come January. Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Very nice. A sincere wish will be granted. All right, let's get a couple more messages here for tea leaf fortune cards. This is for the earth signs, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I hope this is helping you so, so far. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, we've got the box. You will receive a gift. Okay, so the, I think the fire signs got this as well. You will receive a gift, something coming in February. So at January and February, so something over those months is going on. And one more here, we've got career, okay? This could be having to do with your career. Maybe more money will be coming in, maybe from your hard work now, a promotion will be coming your way, 
or if it's a new business, you're gonna start to see money coming in in January and February, okay? January and February, and you're gonna receive a gift, and I think that gift could be in the form of recognition, and it could be also a gift to yourself. Celebrate every step of the way, earth signs, okay? Because look what we have here, the God of wealth. Okay, so how does that contrast with the Five of Pentacles, right? So I rest my case there where I'm saying you're coming out of that lack energy. It says, the money God is knocking at your door. Open it and welcome him in. This is not only a sign of monetary gain and financial success, it also portends good fortune in all things, health, relationships, career, and family. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so excited for you, earth signs. And we've got strength, okay? Dig deep, dig deep, earth signs, okay? You are far more powerful than you realize. Believe in yourself. What seems impossible can be overcome with determination and the right skills. Do not give up. You are almost there. Whatever happens, you will gain wisdom from the experience. See, and we've got that here with the hermits, okay? Gaining wisdom from your experiences. You have the strength to do this. You've got this earth sign, you totally got this. Everything's gonna work out. Everything's gonna work out and you're really gonna be getting a pat on the back and definitely give yourself a pat on the back too. Please comment below how this resonates with you and how things are working out. I would love to know. And it would also be a great support to one another. All right, so this is the flower petals cards. I'm going to take a couple from here for some advice. Two already flips. Here we go. I think that might have been three. Let me take a quick peek. Nope, we got two. All right. All right, what do the earth signs need to know? The Dahlia, you have what it takes. How about that? How about that, earth signs? You have what it takes. Don't doubt yourself. Okay, and the gardenia. Listen to the divine whispers stirring in your heart. Okay, earth signs, listen to your heart. Dig deep, what do you really want, okay? Love yourself and know that good things are coming your way. Okay, I love that God of Wealth card. Listen to the divine whispers stirring in your heart. You need to know you deserve this, okay? You need to know you deserve all these good things. Good fortune and health, relationships, career, and family, okay? Tune into your heart, love yourself first, and know that you deserve all of those good things. Okay, Earth Signs, thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.